Hey YouTubers, so this uh, tutorial on the polymer clay is going to be even simpler than the P one. Hopefully you can see I'm in a different location but still same uh, concept. We have the, this time I'm using plastic wrap versus the saran wrap just because we have that extra. Just a ball of brown Sculpey I just pre-rolled just for you guys. Um, and all I'm going to need besides this ball is a cutter like this. Um, just my little small cutter. It's like this a little bit bigger than my thumb. Uh, today I also used, this is called, I have the camera at an awkward angle so I can't, I don't know if this must be right side up, is that right? Okay, this is called, um, it's like a clay softener, it was $2.99 at Hobby Lobby which is a little expensive seeing as though the clay at Hobby Lobby is only a dollar and some change, but you know, you gotta get what you gotta get. Uh, this definitely softened this piece of clay because this clay was looking rough. So all I'm gonna do is roll this into a ball and then I'm gonna flatten it out the magic of my little fingers. Yes, that is the shiny disco ball fingernail polish. Pretty exciting. Um, I think I'm going to need to start filming these videos in advance in case something like this happens again. I was extremely sick this week. Um, I got even sicker since that last video I posted and they even had to like stab my arm and take my blood and every- Ooh, you want to see? It's icky. Do you see? Can you see my arm where they stabbed me? Oh. Gross. I hate needles. Alright. Anyways, so we're, we're flattening this sucker out, okay? You can use a little roller if you want, but it's not that serious. I just put it down there like that. Take my circle cutter. Let's make sure you guys have... Okay. I'm going to take my circle cutter. Push down. You can use the blow technique, especially if... Um, you fill this up a lot, but this, since this is so thin, I just push it through. Sometimes, um, if you just and blow it out of this, it leaves no fingerprints, which is awesome. So here we have um, our perfect circle. I probably should have showed you guys what we were making before I started, but it's alright. It's not going to take that long. This is the quickest thing you will ever make, ever. Alright, so you have your circle, okay? All you're going to do is bend it like a taco. You're going to go ahead and can you guys see are my big fat fingers in the way this camera's having a really hard time focusing today all right you're just going to flatten the edges around it can you guys see make sure to leave the end the middle part thicker and then you're just going to pull it like this Make sure you condition it enough because I did a video already on this trying to pre-record it and my brown clay kind of just broke into pieces because uh, I didn't condition it enough because there's a lot of bending and stuff going on. This one's not perfect, but this, my friends, is a, a fortune cookie. Yes, this is a fortune cookie. See how it's kind of... And if you wanted to get fancy, you can go in with some um, white clay, uh, flatten it out like you did this, cut it, into a little tiny sliver and let it hang outside of this, just like a fortune cookie. I didn't get this in advance, but hold on one second. And this fortune cookie is going to go with my little uh, Raymond Noodle Chinese takeout charm I have made that I would love to show you how to make next time. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you guys like this one. This is definitely the easiest thing you're ever going to make with polymer clay, but I think it's really cute. So uh, hopefully you guys liked it too. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.